Hi guys! I just wanted to walk through some of these problems with you today. So question number one. The first bar and number line show tenths. Enter both fractions and decimal numbers to finish labeling the bar. Then finish labeling the number line using decimal numbers only. Okay. So here I see one-tenth as a fraction, one-tenth as a decimal, and it's alternating. Okay, so I'm looking at that pattern, so I know this should be the fraction, and this should be the decimal. Remember, decimal places, the first place to the right, is one tenth. They mean the same. So if I look at my number line, what's it counting by? Hopefully you notice we have one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths. So this would be five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and here we would have one whole. Now, look how big these are. Now we've got these teeny tiny little things. So it says this second bar and, oops, and number line show hundredths. So, now we're looking at even smaller pieces. You're gonna enter fractions to finish labeling the bar using 100 as the denominator. Then you're gonna select the correct decimal numbers to finish labeling the number line. So, here it says A equals. Well, here is A. So, let's see. We have ten hundredths, then another ten hundredths, which gives us twenty hundredths, thirty hundredths, forty hundredths. So A would have to be fifty hundredths. Like so. So then B would have to be, you guessed it, 60 hundredths. I bet you could figure out C, D, and E on your own. Now, for the last part, they've got a little bit of a challenge. They've labeled it using decimals. The way we would read these decimals are 10 hundredths, twenty hundredths, thirty hundredths, forty hundredths, A would have to be fifty hundredths, B would then be another ten hundredths, so be sixty hundredths, and C would have to be seventy hundredths. You can figure out D and E on your own. All right, guys, I hope that helped you with number one. Let's see if there's anything else weird. Number two, you're just thinking about why this is divided the way it is. Three, look at this. Enter the number in decimal form. Six hundred. Well, I know it's smaller than a whole, so I'm going to do zero point. If I put a six right there, that's six tenths. I need to put a zero and a six. Okay. Again, 46 hundredths, zero point four six. Two decimal places gives you hundredths. All right, guys, I hope this helped you. Please email me if you have any other questions.